Hey y'all, I'm here. So today I'm going to talk about how to set up iBoss with Mozi so that you can type in Japanese. If you don't like iBoss, you can also use UIM or FCITX. Or if you don't like Mozi, you can use Anthe instead. But this is the setup I'm most familiar with, so this is the one I'm going to talk through. And as you can probably guess from the VM in the background, I'm going to be talking through this a bit for both Gen 2 and the typical binary based distro, largely because it just doesn't seem that interesting to only talk through it on an install where I already have it set up. So yeah, starting on the Gen 2 side, the two packages you want are app i18n slash ibus and app i18n slash mousesy. And as far as use flags for these, ibus, I'm guessing X is probably essential for at least the GUI for iBus setup, which is the easiest way to configure it, and might also be required for just basic use. And the three GTK related use flags are just enabling input via iBus for different GTK versions. I'm pretty sure GTK 3 and 4 are just the default. Personally, I should probably have GTK 2 set because I think I still have a couple things that use it. Yeah, those are for sure important ones. NLS and Unicode are probably pretty important too. And emoji isn't as essential, it just kind of gives you... If I can type iBus emoji, which brings up an emoji picker. I'm not going to show it because Something about my setup just makes it weirdly painful to get rid of once I pull it up, but... Yeah, that's a thing that exists. And then, as far as use flags for Mosey... Huey and iBus are both pretty important ones. GUI, so you can configure it with C tool and iBus self-explanatory. So once you got the use flag set properly, just install those two packages and skip ahead to whatever timestamp has actually setting things up. And meanwhile, on non-Gen2 distros, start by just searching your package manager for iBus or Mosey. I'm going to go for Mosey because I feel like that will probably have less garbage results. So you can see pulls up stuff like iBus Mosey, which is the bridge for using Mosey with iBus, and it should pull in on any distro where this package exists anyway, it should pull in enough of the Mosey and iBus packages to get going. So, just install that, and I don't think it pulls in Mosey Utils GUI, so I'm just gonna 
list that one as well. And if you have a package manager like apt that lists suggested packages, be sure to look at that as well as what's going to be installed. So IBUS, IBUS data, couple GTK IBUS packages, mostly mostly data, mostly server, mostly utils GUI, couple other things, and suggested. I'm pretty sure I'll be fine without these, but if you use any Qt programs, you'll probably want IBUS Qt 5 as well. So yeah, just continue and just kind of watch it do its thing. I'm probably going to have a speed up here because I'm pretty sure this takes a while. Okay, and once all that's done installing, there are some desktop environments that actually integrate with iBus. I know GNOME is one of them. I don't remember if Cinnamon is. For those, you can just go to Preferences, Input Method looks pretty promising. Okay, actually that might be something else. Just go to overall settings. Looks like input method might be related. So that looks like it's for adding support. Also looks like I opened it several times. Yeah, so that is a way to do things. Another way which will work on any setup is to just type ibus setup, which, yep, has a hyphen in between. And yes, start the ibus daemon. And it mentions some lines to add to. It recommends your bash rc. We're going to be adding something similar to these later in a slightly different place. And I'm just going to hide my face for a sec so you can see this little system tray icon. That is how you know that iBus is running. And in preferences, first make sure that you know what the binding for next input method is. If you're on Cinnamon specifically, super space tends to have issues. I don't remember running into this on any other desktop environment. So just hit the three dots next to it change it to use something else. I'll just go with control shift space. Hit apply and then OK. Then input method, just add Japanese mosi add. And then you can select that and go to preferences, which will typically work. If for whatever reason it doesn't,
Then the base command for launching that is mosi tool dash dash mode equals config underscore dialog and the reason I say the base command is because on most distros, most C tool won't be anywhere in your path. So on Gen 2, I think this is user libexec most C slash most C tool. And on Mint, I'm pretty sure it's just. That E isn't supposed to be there on any distro, by the way. On Mint, I'm pretty sure it's just user lib mosi mosi tool. Didn't complain about not finding it, so that should be right. Yeah, so however you launch it, once it's up, you can look at the different tabs. Mess with the dictionary, advanced stuff, suggestions, some privacy settings, and one setting that's nice to mess with if you either don't have a system tray or don't have a particularly functional one. Customize key map style. Scroll down until you find a few bindings for direct input mode, command activate IME. So by default, when you switch to mode C, it'll just do direct input, which is not really that useful. So if you have an ASU F13 or Ankaku slash Zenkaku key, then you don't need to change anything. Or if you have Hiragana or Katakana keys, those you're apparently set to. Otherwise, just double click one of those, click it a few times again, and just input whatever key bind. I tend to go with control opening bracket just because that's not bound to anything else. So then hit OK, hit OK again. And it'll note that this will only apply to applications launched after making modifications, but later on I'm going to be logging out and back in anyway, so that's totally fine. Then once you're done here, just hit OK. Once you're done here, just hit Close. Then as far as the lines from earlier, there are a couple different places you can put them. If you're signing in directly from the TTY and just launching stuff with StartX, then your X and it RC is a good place for them. If you have a window manager or desktop environment with an auto start script or auto start script plural, then just putting it in there or one of those is good. If you're using a display manager, which is Latin for graphical login screen, then most or all of those source dot x profile in your home folder if that exists so that's where i'm going to be putting them it'll be the same few lines no matter where you chuck them and then the lines which a couple of them will look slightly different than the pop-up earlier export 
x modifiers equals at i am equals i bus. So you're just telling x that you're using i bus as an input method. Export gtk underscore i am underscore module equals x i am. And you may remember that the pop-up earlier said ibus. Most sources recommend starting with this set to ibus and changing it to xim if anything gives you issues. I've had issues with enough things setting it to ibus in the past that I just kind of default to xim at this point. And then, if you set it up for input with cute stuff as well, then just pretty much copy that line and change GTK to cute. And then one additional line, ibus daemon dash D for demonize, so it backgrounds itself. R for replace, so if it's already running, it'll just replace the running daemon. And X to start the IBUS XIM server so that these two lines actually work. So then just save that. Then when you log out and log back in, it should just work. And after a small jump cut because my VM just totally forgot how to anything, you will be able to see once I hide my face that that tray icon is there. And if I just Pull up a terminal and just check environment variables for I am. You can see that the three that were set in X profile were in fact sourced properly. Also, you can see that. This is the ls color for .wim files, a thing that I of course deal with very often. And if I just move my face to some place that is not right over the system tray, you can see that now that we're someplace with text entry, that icon changed to EN for English. And if I hit Control Shift Space, it briefly changed to the mouse C icon, and now it's A to indicate direct input. So if I just type something, you can see that it's just normal. Roman letters. So if your SysTray works, you can just click that icon, go to input mode, and select Hiragana. If it doesn't, that's what control bracket is for. So yeah, now you can see that... Actually, can you see? Yes. You can see that that typed it in Japanese. So basically when it's in that mode, you just kind of start typing. And you can just cycle through different suggestions by just hitting space over and over. Or you can jump to one by just hitting the corresponding number key, then enter to confirm. And 
And this also works in places that make a bit more sense than the terminal. So, like, if I pull up a text editor, And also worth noting, if you're using a launcher like this, you probably want to switch back to not Kitagana input before trying to run anything. Because otherwise you end up just typing absolute garbage, which is probably not what you're hoping for. Yeah, you can just kind of type whatever, wherever. And I don't know if Anthe does this, but one cool thing with Mosey is if you can guess what it thinks an emoji is called, then you can type emoji. So, like, I know that Hato can give you a heart, or well, she can give you different star options, and these don't look quite as nice here, because it seems to just be an emoji font that renders them as, like, normal characters. But if I pull up a terminal on my host, and then do Hoshi, you can see that it's giving me the sparkles, or Hato. If I go to the next page, it has other stuff like hard eyes. There's even cow emoji, apparently. Either didn't know or forgot that those were a thing. Going down further, you get all the different colored hearts. And half the fun of this is just guessing what will and won't give you emoji. So, like, I don't remember what exactly this one is called like I know the one that in the west is often referred to as bottom face is called something like pian in Japanese I just realized that sounded really bad so definitely gonna write out the Romaji for that. Yeah, that's how I normally see it referred to, but I don't know if any variant of that actually gives you the pleading face. Yeah, so that is Ibus and Mosey. Hopefully this helps with all your weeaboo input dreams. And, uh, yeah, have a nice rest of your day.